Welcome to the video tutorial for JetTech PWM. Having successfully installed and calibrated the software, all that remains is that you fine tune your carburetor and engine combination using JetTech's internal software dynamic simulation model. First, unlock the system, revealing the adjustment features for JetTech. PWM. Select your spark plug, either NGK or Denso, pressing this button, and then select your needle from the drop down list. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will use the DGK needle profile. Then select the idle jet from the drop down list, and again in this case, I will use the 155 idle jet. Just a quick note on float height or pump round height. Whichever version of the PWM you are using, be it a pump around conversion or with the conventional float setup, you need to, in the case of floats, establish a float height by measuring and making a record. There are eight individual setups available to you and for each configuration of say float height you would have to establish a fine tuning setup recorded under one of these. You can of course for instance calibrate the software using an air box and then possibly no air box or a change of filter design. In each case use a different setup number to record your fine tuning process and then simply by selecting that setup you will have instantly recall to your fine tuning adjustments. So starting with setup number one under which we will make these fine tuning adjustments. First task is to locate your temperature and humidity sensor at ground level or possibly six inches above ground level in the shade. Always sight the unit in this location and by doing that you will always have consistent readings of humidity and air temperature equivalent to the air temperature and humidity entering your engine. Enter the weather information from your barometer Now install the 192 jet. For the moment, leave the needle clip selection to either P2 or P3, a good mid-range selection. And we will adjust and fine tune the needle clip position later in this tutorial. Now having entered the weather, a 192 main jet is displayed. Install the 192 main jet in your carburetor and go out and complete a track test session of 10 laps at racing speed. On returning to your pit, inspect the piston crown, spark plug and exhaust header for colour and determine whether the 192 in this case is rich or weak. Let's make the assumption for the purposes of this tutorial that the 192 is weak. Using this control dial down the jetting factor to the next weakest jet in this case the 190 represented by the jetting factor figure of 649. Install the 190 jet and go out and complete another test session Again on returning to the pits, consider performance, inspect the piston crown, spark plug and exhaust header for colour and simply repeat this process. You will eventually arrive at the perfect main jet for the current weather conditions. Always remember to enter the current weather conditions before you select jets or needle clip positions. So having established by this simple methodical process the ideal jetting factor 
for your particular carburetor and engine combination. You can then move on to selection of the needle clip position. The process is identical to fine tuning for the main jet. First let's dial the needle clip factor to say P3, a typical rich setting, in this case represented by the number 589. Adjust your DGK needle to P3 and go out and complete another test session. This time concentrating on mid-range performance which of course is controlled by the needle profile. On returning to your pit consider this performance and determine either a richer or weaker setting. Let's assume that you decide a weaker setting would be more appropriate for the conditions. First again enter the weather conditions just in case they have changed at all and dial down the needle clip factor to the next weakest setting. It is worthy of note here that you will sometimes see an washer in this area of the screen. This simply means that if you like you can utilize a washer under the needle clip. The washer thickness will be half the distance between the clip positions and in this way the accuracy of JetTech PWM will enable tuning to half a clip position. When the message and washer is displayed put the washer under the clip. When the message and washer goes away such as this you then simply remove the washer and place it on top of the clip. Going back to the uh, current weather conditions install the clip at P2 go out and complete another track session and determine if the performance is improved or not and again by this simple process you will establish your ideal uh, needle clip factor. When you have done this lock the system and you can simply then enter the weather conditions and the ideal jetting for main jet and needle clip position will always be displayed. You can further enhance the accuracy of PWM by using the Flowbench feature built into the software. This is an additional utility that enables you to independently adjust the rate of change with air density of both the needle clip and main jet. To demonstrate this let's move the main jet adjustment to plus 20 the maximum and I will press this button to cycle air density lower indicated by this bar and you will notice that the main jet changes very quickly with a change in air density. Now let's reset remembering that at the lower air density the main jet displayed is a 178. Move this control back to zero the standard setting and repeat the test moving air density lower and as you can see the change in air density uh, brings a much less of a change in the main jet position. In this way if your engine and carburetor are especially tuned for you you can perfectly match the air and fuel flow characteristics of your carburetor with your engine. The use of JetTech Flowbench however is not for the inexperienced tuner. It would be useful to have exhaust gas temperature and or a lambda sensor information to enable you to fully utilize the power of JetTech Flowbench. In 99.9% .9 of cases JetTech Flowbench is not required as the software's internal dynamic simulation model normally 
perfectly matches the standard PWM carburetor but there will be instances when using Flowbench will be necessary. Having established the fine tuning for your carburetor you can then simply enter the weather wherever you may be and the perfect jetting will always be displayed by the software. And that concludes this tutorial on JetTech PWM.